Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. And I have a little um, saying to say, if your inner child is embarrassed about a feeling of feeling sexual, and it goes like this. You're a good little child. You're a good little child. You're the goodest child. Bless my soul. So when you use these kinds of um, sayings or affirmations for the, the inner child, the wounded inner child, it's important to, to go ahead and use them. As soon as you've pinpointed what the issue is, you think of the antidote, the opposite thought, the opposite emotion and feeling. And, and then you put that into the kind of words that a small child would say or love or enjoy. It's the age of the child, the type of words that you use depend on the age of the child at the soul, time of soul wounding, you see. So, so this saying, the goodest little child is for a very small child, maybe three years old, right? And, and who appreciates that kind of fun play with words. And, and you may wish to refine that later on if it's not quite right for your own inner child, you know? And uh, so, but when you've got it down or as you're testing it you use that affirmation whenever the feeling comes up that you're trying to heal and in this case it would be a feeling of of guilt or um, unworthiness associated with feeling um, with feeling sexual um, I heard about a case on the astral plane uh, of, a, of a young child that um, that got a reprimand for feeling sexual, and the reprimand took place in a, as is so often the case, in a bathroom setting, like a bathtub bath setting. And um, uh, when the reprimand is severe enough to create soul wounding, uh, and it's in, uh, say, during bath time or shower time, then the result can be that in adult life, a child just doesn't want to take a shower or just doesn't want to take a bath when they grow up. They want to avoid uh, that. And that, I think, is in some cases, the reprimand, say, corporeal punishment, most likely at an early age, uh, say, uh, uh, creates the feeling um, while you're getting clean in the shower or bath it, that feeling sexual is dirty, you know, is bad, is dirty, is is wrong, like that. Um, and so, whenever the the child after that finds themselves in in the bathroom confronted with a shower or a bath, they feel dirty, despite the results of the shower or bath being that that would make them clean. It's the deep unconscious or subconscious mind that makes them feel dirty when confronted with the notion of, of taking a bath, of bathing. So uh, so they may avoid actually uh, showers and baths in, in adult life because of that early soul, soul wounding. And I do have a tentative notion about that. I, I, I For me, that's not an issue. I love I just love baths and showers, you know. But but as I have heard about it in the astral plane. I've heard about folks with this with this issue, and uh, I thought that maybe if the bath or shower is approached with rapt awareness and a neutral mind, then a person might be able to discover to notice the emotions that arise with this awareness, with this neutral mind, and and just to to be in the moment with these emotions as they come up and in that way uh, transform them with, with the awareness eventually. I have no doubt but what it would be kind of hard at first, but maybe if, if the neutral mind and if the awareness are repeated uh, several times with several showers, uh, then it can, be, um, it can be neutralized, eventually neutralized that feeling of uh, of upset. So I'd be interested if any of you have heard of other techniques or know if this technique would work. 
Uh, so that's it for now. Talk to you later. <laughs>